thanks to a lovely friend of ours, we have the opportunity to talk to Aaron Dill of Gale Force 9. He took a few minutes out of his busy schedule to give us the lowdown on three games that he's worked on, including some upcoming stuff for them. I think uh, some of us might be interested in that. We're going to have a quick minute to talk to Aaron Dill from Gale Force 9. Can you tell me a little bit about the games that you're developing for them right now? So we came out with our first game two years ago uh, with Spartacus, which was launched, launched at Gen Con two years ago, and it's a super stab your buddy in the back, everybody hates each other by the end of the evening, treacherous sort of game. Um, and then last year at Gen Con, we released Firefly, um, which has definitely been our most popular game so far, and Firefly is as different from Spartacus as it could be. It's a race through space to get resources, to hire crew, to travel the verse, to try to achieve a, a shared goal, um, a goal that you're shared among all the players. It's all been a race to steal the crown or to accumulate a certain amount of credits. Um, and then this year, we've just launched Sons of Anarchy um, based on the Biker Gang show on FX. And in that game, it's somewhere in between the two. Every player has, is the leader of a gang. Um, you're controlling their criminal enterprises. You're controlling which sites you can, you've got which sites you can exploit, um, buying contraband, selling contraband, firing off guns in the street, trying to take out the, re the rest of the gangs. But it's very much a, much like the mantra from the show, a brains before bullets sort of game. If you can hold back, sell, profit, and not necessarily spend your resources knocking down the other gangs, you're more likely to come out on top. What you really want to be doing in that game is encouraging your opponents to beat each other down while you then rise up with a big pile of cash. <laughs> So that one just came out, right? That's that the one new release? That came out yesterday. Yesterday, so that's, that's, that's a big that's Gen Con. Con. The other big Gen Con release is the Blue Sun expansion for Firefly. Um, it adds another big section of map, new planets, a whole new star system, a bunch of new jobs, a bunch of new equipment, um, and that's been that's been super popular at the show. All right, where can we uh, where can our viewers find that if they are not able to make it to the con today? Uh, pretty much everywhere. I mean, all of our stuff is sold through all major game distributors. It's all, most of our games are translated into three or four more other, more other languages. Um, it's pretty well available everywhere. Some of our game, Firefly and Sons of Anarchy, um, are hitting shelves in some uh, test market Target stores now. So you may even see them at your local big retailer. Um, our games are they're on Amazon. They're everywhere. So it's, it's not hard to find any of our games. Do you guys have any products coming out in the near future that you want to talk about? A big one that we've announced so far that I can talk about a little bit is uh, Homeland. Homeland is going to be our big fourth game uh, coming out in a little while based on the Showtime show Homeland. We've got uh, two different club expansions coming out for Sons of Anarchy, and then we'll have, over the next year, have another expansion for Firefly, uh, and there's another small expansion coming out for Spartacus as well, called Shadow of Death. I want to thank Gary and Dill for taking the time to talk with us about these awesome games that they have out. You guys should totally go check them out, and uh, we'll talk to you a little later.